everyone. I just wanted to share a really quick project with you. Um, I made this last night and I honestly don't know how long it took me because my scrapbooking shelf fell on off of the wall while I was making this. So I had to stop and clean up glass and um, all kinds of fun stuff. So, um, But it did not take me more than an hour. Um, but I wanted to share it with you because what I did was I reused packaging. So in one of my recent haul videos, I bought the paper clips for a dollar at Michael's, the red and pink ones with the hearts and butterflies and stuff, and they came in these little plastic cases. So what I did was um, I used all, I used only paper out of my out of my like scrap box, um, leftovers and that kind of deal, and I covered the outside of the box in paper or just wrapped it around and. Um, then I stamped uh, XOXO with some little swirls. Um, it's a, the new stamp set that I got uh, in one of my hauls too. It's, um, let's see, it's the Autumn Leaves Love with a Flourish. And I stamped it in White Craft ink by Stampin' Up and then put some glitter on it, which um, didn't work very well. Some of it's on there and some of it's not. And then I put a couple of um, Prima Flowers on there with some pink bling. And then on the back, I used the crocheted ribbon and some pink, and you can't, I don't know if you can tell, but it's pink, like, sparkly ribbon. And, um, to cover up my seam, where my paper came together. And then I used a ball chain, and I used my hole punch and punched a hole in the side. And, um, bear with me, because I'm going to do this with one hand, so. But you just open it up. And pull on the ribbon. Okay, I'm gonna set the camera down for just a second. Sorry about my finger. So you just pull the ribbon, and inside is a little mini book. So, um, and how I did that was um, I punched the hole for the ball chain and I cut off the little flap on this side. And in the top, you'll see there's a little notch right there. So whenever I put my mini book in there, the ball chain can go through that that little notch and, along with the ribbon. So the ribbons can hang out. And then um, I used cereal boxes. Um, this mini measures one and seven eighths by two and a half. And like I said, I used all scraps. So I um, binded it with some pink ribbon that I had and then tied some fibers onto that. And then I used one of the um, swirly paper clips and hung a love charm from, from it. And then I cut this heart out from some of the other pattern paper like this. And I used tattered rose um, stickles on it and put it up on a dimensional dot. And then I um, inked all the pages in tattered rose Distress Ink by Tim Holtz. So then all of the pages I kept really simple since it's so small. And um, that's functional. So you can slip a picture under there. And I just cut out the, um, from this paper, I cut out the little swirly frame thing, put some bling in the middle, and then um, partially glued it down so you could put a picture behind it. And then on this one, I did a Prima flower with um, some a rhinestone bread by Stampin' Up. And a picture can fit behind there somewhat too. So flip it over and I left this page really simple because like I said it's a small mini album I wanted lots of room for pictures so that page is just inked in tattered rose and left alone and then this paper was already sparkly and I don't know if you can see because my lighting is really bad in here but it's glittery already and kind of raised and then I cut this lace out from another um, scrap piece of paper that was in my scrap box I cut it out and glued it down just on the ends on the edges and then put these little um, pearls on the flowers and that's a functioning pocket as well and then on this page I left it alone it has some lace in the background and I just inked it with tattered rose and left that page open for pictures and then if you saw my vintage mini album um, this is leftover from the damask paper Emma hold on I'm doing a video um, just a minute. Um, the damask, um, that I did in my vintage, ooh, sorry, my vintage mini, 
So that was left over and it didn't go all the way down. So I used another piece of scrap paper and used my eyelet border punch and made it look like lace. Inked it in tattered rose and put the pearls. And then this is a functioning pocket as well. If I can get it in there. And this is my second time filming because the lighting in the first video was just awful. It was early in the morning and it was cloudy and it was just bad. So anyways, I can't get it all the way in there, but it does go in there. And then in the back is just simple, so you can put a picture or leave it. And it just tucks back, it just tucks back into this box. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it one-handed, but I thought it would be cute to hang um, off of somebody's purse or a keychain or even like a gift bag. Hanging off of a gift bag is a little extra, and um, they have a little cute mini to carry around with them with some small photos, very small photos. <laughs> But I thought it was cute. Uh oh, my charm just fell off. I'll have to put that back on. Um, but I thought it was a cute idea. So I plan on making another one with this one. And like I said, just cereal boxes. So anyways, there's a cute idea for your packaging. So don't throw anything away. And then I have a real quick um, haul from Target. We, I had to go to Target yesterday to get some bookshelves because my craft room is very, very small. And I am outgrowing it. So I went to Target to buy some bookshelves. And while I was there, just ran through the dollar aisle really fast. And they had these gems. It's 75 for a dollar. So I picked up two of those. And there's like hearts and circles and squares and flowers. And I think that's it. But um, I thought it was a good deal. So I picked up two of those. And then I have the 12 by 12 paper. But they had these out this time. The 5 by 7 papers. Um, there's 16 of them in there. So I picked up two of those as well. So um, check that out. That's a great deal. And thanks for watching. Bye.